Hey friends, uh, it's good to see you in some ways and be with you. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on where things stand uh, for the fall uh, to explain the survey that I just emailed to you and also just uh, to invite you not only to, to keep praying for REF but also um, to invite you to help shape stuff for the fall of the semester. So I'm going to start with what I know as of now. Uh, here's a few things I know. One, uh, registered student organizations, which REF is one, are required to meet on campus this semester. So we cannot do anything off campus this semester. Um, so the second thing I know is that everything we do, um, from small groups to large group to call out to any kind of event, must be approved by the Student Activities Office, no exceptions. Uh, if it has more than two people, it has to be approved. Uh, another thing I know is that we cannot have more than 50 people at any gathering. Um, and along with that, all of the Purdue, uh, Protect Purdue pledge must be upheld. So social distancing, masks at all times, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the other thing I know is that visitors are not allowed on campus this semester. Um, I think I'm gonna be allowed on campus. That's my understanding. That was one of the pieces of information I was waiting on. Uh, but um, it's not official yet, but I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do that. And then lastly, they're encouraging everything we do to have a virtual component. So even when we have in-person things like small groups or large groups, they're encouraging to have a virtual option so that students can participate uh, virtually if they'd like. So here's a few thoughts that I have on that um, before we get into the survey. Uh, the first is, friends, this is, this is not normal. Uh, and we need to have some space to lament and to grieve uh, I'm going to share more about this uh, in an upcoming post, uh, which was inspired a lot by um, of some, just some staff training stuff I did last week. But it's appropriate for us to lament the loss of a normal fall. Uh, and we need to own that because we are going to feel this acutely over the weeks ahead. Um, for one, like our family is going to really grieve not having you in our home. Uh, Margaret and the kids are going to miss seeing you in person uh, like we would normally do. And so uh, that's okay for us to be sad about that. In fact, we should uh, be sad about that. Uh, another thing, another thought I have, or hot take if you will, uh, God's at work. These restrictions don't keep us from doing ministry or remove the need for ministry. Uh, if anything, it makes being an outward facing community center on Jesus and his gospel even more important uh, this fall. Um, it will change the way that we do things, right? It will change our tactics, our strategies, but it does not change the why behind what we do. The why is as strong as ever. Uh, another thought I have, and I cannot stress this enough, this is not the time to go rogue. We do not want to be rogue university fellowship or, um, as a friend of mine said, reformed underground fellowship. It will be very tempting for us to do our own thing and to not follow Purdue protocol. Uh, I'm going to feel that temptation too. However, as Christians, we are called to obey civil authorities over us as a way to follow Jesus. And we want RUF to outlive all of us on this campus. And a key part in that will be what we do this semester. And so I'm asking you, please follow university protocol, even though it will make things harder in the short term, it will uh, help us tremendously in the long term. The last thing I want to say before I move on to the survey, we will be able to do some things this fall. Uh, so I have a, a request for some tabling uh, the first week that I'm hoping will be approved. Uh, I've all already been talking to you guys about some events during BGR. I'm going to start the process of requesting a uh, large group and a call out and different things. So we will be able to do some stuff. Um, it will look different, but we will be able to do some stuff. And that's a great thing because I wasn't sure if we were going to do anything in person for a while. So to that end, uh, because I want you to help shape the semester uh, and get your thoughts on it, I'm sending a survey. Uh, it's just for you. Um, and I would like for you to fill this out by Monday. So sometime today, tomorrow, uh, over the weekend. It's a longer survey, I'm not gonna lie, but your honest feedback will be huge. And so after I receive your input, uh, I'm gonna digest a little bit. I might follow up if I have a question or two from some, if y'all say anything that I'm unsure about. And then I'm gonna send out another survey with more information to everybody next week uh, for 
RUF at large. So just to walk you through the different sections, you won't be able to see it all, they're in different sections, so I'm just gonna kind of give you a preview. Uh, first, please give me basic info, your name, email, if you're coming back to Purdue in the fall, if you're going virtual. Uh, you don't, and also I included just those sole words, I've used this with a few of you, I just want you to pick three words to describe uh, how your summer's been, how you're doing spiritually, and also just how you're thinking about the fall. I just want to, I don't want, you don't need to write a book, uh, a one sentence or less as to why you picked the words that you did for each would be great. I just want to get a snapshot of just how you're doing. Um, second uh, section is about large group. There's four options that I'm aware of uh, that are possibilities right now. Uh, and well, before I say the options, uh, I've talked with some of you, some of the small group leaders. It looks like some classes will be going until 8.20 uh, during the weeknights. So we would need to start large group at 8.30 at the earliest so that we don't conflict with class times. So uh, given that, the four options that I know of are uh, first to do large group in two different rooms. One of them would be live and the other one would be streaming and we would basically switch every other week. So if we're live and I'm in the one and large group A, we'll say, uh, then the following week we would, we would be in large, I would go to large group B and large group A would stream large group B. Um, the second option would be, um, we would do a large group in person, right? This is all assuming no more than 50. If we actually might, for approval purposes, need to cap it at like 40 or 45. Um, but the, the second option would be to have a large group in person with watch parties on, and remember these have to be on campus. And so we would have a group of people in the room that we meet in and then we would establish a few parties uh, where people can meet and watch together uh, in the hopes of fostering community. The third option would be uh, basically large group online with watch parties. So it'd be similar to what we did in the fall, or sorry, in, in the spring. Uh, with the exception that we would have groups um, that would meet together to watch it together. And the fourth option would be essentially what we did in the spring, uh, the second half of the spring. Everybody's, everything's online, um, hopefully with some equipment upgrades uh, to make things a little bit better. But um, I suspect, um, just my honest opinion, that reserving two different rooms, so the first option will be difficult. But if we want to go this route or try, then I'm certainly willing to try. But as you give me the, your thoughts on that, I also want you to tell me why and also any challenges that you foresee with this option. No option is going to be perfect. So I just want to hear what you're thinking, why you're thinking. It. Keep, keep in mind not only you and your friends, but also freshmen, new students, that kind of thing. Also, let me know if you can host something uh, if you're able to go the watch party route. Uh, the next section is about small groups. So because of the guidelines, all small groups must meet on campus and or be virtual. Um, I'm going to meet with small group leaders next week to hash out, to begin hashing out some of these details. But for now, just let me know if you can host something on campus. Uh, and just to be clear, on campus means it is a Purdue owned property. So if you're at Faith West, uh, doesn't count. If you are in an apartment building that feels like it's on campus, but is not owned by Purdue, it's actually off campus. Uh, I had to clarify that. So um, I've also been considering doing three to four kind of like week um, small groups, like three to four weeks uh, of a small group on a particular topic uh, as a way to just sort of like dive in on something a little bit um, more. Uh, so those could be something like forgiveness or adoption or um, reading the Bible and praying together, or that kind of thing, uh, baptism or Lord's Supper. So. Uh, I'd, I'm going to try to come up with a list, but I'd love your input too if there's some stuff you're like, I'd love to hear. just spend some time thinking about this. Uh, another thought, uh, another, so the next section would be service and fellowship. Uh, a number of you have expressed a desire for RUF to serve more regularly this fall. We began to uh, explore that and then we got the guidelines saying uh, the only things we can do as a student organization on campus this fall. So. Uh, long term, that's still our hope, but for this semester, we are basically going to have to table those plans. Uh, one thought I've had, as I've heard other uh, campus ministers discuss, is to find ways to serve the quarantine dorm. Uh, so if that's something we would like to explore, I can try to dialogue with the university to see if that's a possibility. And I just want you to put, so, put your thoughts on what um, might be helpful to know. Uh, from that, um, like any things that you 
think might be helpful for you or maybe others that you know and love that might end up in the quarantine dorm. Um, also, we are still able to have events, but obviously they're gonna look differently. So um, if you have any thoughts on different kinds of events that we can do, or maybe um, the same events, but with some modifications to it, like for example, uh, well, here's a couple of events we've done in the fall in the past. Obviously we're not doing a fall uh, conference, but we've done Labor Day Lake Day, we've done pumpkin carving, we've done a Thanksgiving dinner, we've done a Christmas party. So, um, you know, an example of a modification would be that we all buy pumpkins and Zoom together and carve our pumpkins together, you know. Um, so we can go that route or we can just come up with a completely different kind of event. So please put your thoughts on that. And the social and service team will help with this too. Uh, the fifth section, are you, are you friends? Uh, I want to explore the idea of an REF directory this fall and get your thoughts on it. Um, here's part of the rationale behind that. We need to be careful what we communicate in our normal RUF channels this fall and reserve that only for student organizational stuff. Here's why. Let me just give you a scenario. Someone posts in the Life is Rough group me, hey, a few of us are going to go to Turkey Run or Happy Hollow. Anyone want to join? Someone gets COVID in that group. Purdue does contact tracing, finds out you're with RUF, sees the group me message, and interprets that as a student organization event. And then REF is in trouble because it looks like we're doing unauthorized student organization events. Instead, it would be better for someone who wants to do that to text individual persons or you know, DM individual persons to see if they would be willing to join them. So it's more of like a friend activity rather than a student organization activity. Um, so because of that, obviously individual text messages and direct messages are much better uh, for that kind of thing. So what do you think about having an REF directory this fall? Uh, I would want people to opt in at their comfort level uh, and find a way to password uh, protect it. But I think this could be a very useful tool. It would be basically like the contact info sheet that we've used in the past for ministry team, but obviously like much less information, uh, email and phone numbers, maybe dorms. I, I don't know, like I, I haven't really thought it through. I, I really want your thoughts on this. Um, maybe just on campus, off campus, maybe not dorms. But um, especially give me your thoughts on how to integrate new people with this. Lastly, uh, I revisited the ministry team commitment um, sheet, uh, the expectation sheet, as well as the officers and teams document, and I attached them to the email I sent you. Here's a few reasons why I changed it this semester. Uh, one is that, honestly, I, don't, I can't expect any of us to attend the things we would normally attend in a given semester. And we normally have, like, you know, make large group unless you're privately hindered, you know, making ministry team meetings. I mean, certainly, yeah, I hope you can do all those things. Well, I can do all those things. Uh, but none of us know what to expect this fall, and I want to give you the freedom to participate at your comfort level and what you're able to do and not do. Um, the second thought I had behind this uh, is that small groups I will, I think, be more important than ever. Uh, they'll, in many ways, serve as the relational hub for RUF, and so I want to encourage us uh, to participate and lean into those more this semester. Um, and third, and maybe this is one of the bigger reasons why, I want to be as clear as possible with you um, in terms of what I think it will be to, uh, what it will mean to be on ministry team this semester. I want you to know what does it look like for me to win uh, or be winning as a ministry team member this fall? Um, what is it, how do I know if I'm doing my job? that kind of thing. That's always a hard thing we wrestle with, like am I doing enough? I don't know. I wrestle with that as a campus minister. Um, and so the two answers that I've settled on at this point of how do I know if I'm doing my job or how do I know if I'm winning are the, these two things, pursuing and serving. Uh, we pursue God, we pursue others, and we are pursued by God and, and by others, uh, right? And so pursuit is, the heart, is at the heart of this. And also serving, we want to find creative ways to serve. Now, for some of you, that means co-leading a small group. For others, it might mean singing. Uh, for others, it might mean reaching out to new, um, for all of us, I mean, right, pursuit is, pursuing other people is serving other people. So reaching out to new students, reaching out to our friends, all that's considered serving. So I don't know if they're, these aren't necessarily different things uh, for all of us, but um, I just wanted to give, uh, anyways, I, I wanted to make that clear that pursuing and serving are really going to be at the heart of what it means to be on ministry team this fall. Uh, that's in some ways not really a different, but I just wanted to 
to try to make that as clear as possible. Um, since things have changed though, I want to give you the opportunity either to back out or to confirm that you'd like to stay on ministry team this fall. Uh, you can obviously dialogue with me about this if that would be helpful to you. Um, but I just want to give you that opportunity. Lastly, uh, I'm going to try to request a space for us to meet in person before the semester begins. Um, so that's one of the last questions on the, on the survey. Just check what could work for you. Uh, and also have a Zoom link um, so you can join virtually if you prefer. Uh, thank friends. I know this is a lot of info, but I really value your input to help shape RUF this semester. Don't hesitate to ask me questions, give me feedback. This is the first time I've ever done fall. Uh, a fall semester or fall freshman new student outreach in a pandemic. So we're all out of our comfort zone right now. Uh, this is all this is new for all of us. But as uncertain as the future looks uh, to us, however, it is not uncertain to God. He's in control and he loves his people. And so let's lean hard into depending on him this semester as we seek to be that outward facing community centered on Jesus and his gospel this semester. So we love you all. And we look forward to seeing you soon.